Medio Persian Empire. Because at that time, during that time, the Median Persians were ruling the, basically the whole known world as we speak. Okay, then the multi race of the so called white man, all right, to take over the Medo Persians, and then the Romans came up. So that's why he likes to say that he likes to say that civilization started with the Greeks, because he's trying to basically mask all other history that ever uh, that ever came to be. All right. Yeah, I'm glad you had said that, but uh, they got that old saying that civilization started with the Greeks. But when you read Greek history, all they were doing was going to war. Right. How the fuck is that civilized? You know, you read the accounts of the Maccabees. It was one war after the other, and it's and it's known that uh, it said that Alexander cried when he conquered everybody because he said there's no one left for me to conquer. And it said that he cried because he didn't have nobody else to go to war with. So how the fuck? And that's that's how you know that the Greeks are Edomites because they were given the blessing of the sword, and they they. The blessing that they got from the Heavenly Father was basically to go to war. But today was going to be a man of the, of the sword. But, so this is why, this is why Alexander cried. He didn't have nobody else to use the sword against. But, you know, going back to what the brother was saying, how is that civilized? You know? True civilization started with Jake. And the scripture tells you Jake is the former of all things. With Jake, are you Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans? Right, you got to go to the Yeah, I didn't finish that verse. I read verse 2 again. You know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. Right. Hey, you were Caesar. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what I was saying. Yeah, Caesar, man. This image right here, man, this image single-handedly destroyed our people right here, man. This, in, this image of Caesar Bolgier, it was the image that the so-called white man came and conquered. He, see, what, what the white man did beforehand, when you go back to the Greeks, he just conquered people, right? But you gotta conquer, you gotta conquer, you conquer the people, the people gonna rebel, all right? Because of the belief system. What Esau did, he forced a belief system on them now. So the people are not gonna rebel now. Our, our people are not rebelling. Why? Because they, they trust and believe in this God right here that the white man put on them. So not only did he conquer them physically, he conquered, he conquered them spiritually. And Esau seen that through history, you just can't conquer a people. When you go into the Maccabees, hey, the, uh, our, our history, man, when you go into the Maccabees, hey, we have, our, our people were willing to die before they uh, uh, eat pork or, or break the law. They'll, they'll take death, right? How do you conquer a people if, they, if they're willing to die? They just gonna keep rebelling. So what you do, you have to, you have to um, infiltrate their mind. Yep. All right. Just like you watched the movie Inception, right? That was basically infiltrating the mind to plant a, a, a seed right. of, of thought to basically force their will upon you. So they can't physically make you. Hey, you need to do this. How about I go to your mind and I make you do it, and, you think, and you're happy about it. They make you our, believe it. They make you believe it. So our people are happy to worship the image. Hey, go ahead. Yeah, the, uh, the first step, the first stage, certain uh, scholars break it down, the first stage to uh, basically indoctrinating a, 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 a people or getting a society on one accord is, is called demoralization. The main two factors of that demoralization is, is uh, giving them whatever education you want to give them and their uh, religion. How the brother was talking, going in the season for his year, and it's other factors too, but them just some that I'm thinking of off the top of my head. But edu education and religion play a big factor in uh, in uh, demoralizing or indoctrinating a people. Right, right. Because through history, he saw he thinks that this kingdom is gonna last forever, man. The white man, he not only wants your, he not only wants you physically. But he wants to control you spiritually, man. He wants to be the most high. He thinks that he's God. That's why he pushed this image, Caesar Bozier, on our people. Now, this people on this side, man, if you tell them that uh, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, if you tell them that he's a black man, they'll fight you, man. They'll want to kill you if you tell them that Jesus Christ, who they call Jesus Christ, which that's not his real name. His real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai, all right? That's the name. They'll, they'll fight you. They, no, nah, that's not how we, we, I don't believe in Yahweh Shai. I believe in Jesus Christ, a white man. You have a so-called Negro, darker, darker than the color black. He'll worship this image. Why? Because Esau has infiltrated his mind and made him believe that this is his God. So not only did he take us over, he, he basically, if you can, um, he basically,
basically destroyed our heritage, man. Is that is that it on that art? Yeah, that was yeah, that was good. Yeah, what the brother was saying, there's this four steps to brainwashing the nation, which uh, the guy by the name of Yuri Bezmanov, uh, 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 KGB subversive agent, he, he brought this out. And he said the demoralization, like the brother said, that's the first step. Then you got uh, destabilization, then crisis, and then normalization. Which you see America being brought through those steps. Right, exactly. Now we're in crisis stage. Right. We're going into crisis. They've been demoralized since the 60s. Right, 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 right. With the, uh, the whole hippie movement and the CIA pushing in drugs, we're bringing drugs through the community, porn, you know, starting in the 60s, they're giving the women rights, uh, women's lib, and all that. That was a demoralization. Provocative. Uh huh. Then you had destabilization through the economy which we've been going through that just recently, and now we're in crisis. Yeah, but really since the 70s. Right, uh, you can go 70s, back. You know? Right. I mean, it didn't look bad, but that's when the, the debt toll started really, you know, it raised, the debt toll raised a red flag to certain individuals in America, you know? Oh, and then the normalization, after this crisis come with the financial collapse, the normalization would be the one world order. That's what the elite want. But right. the Heavenly Father has something else playing. Right, and that's why we out here, man, to basically proclaim that Esau's enterprise is not going, he's not going to accomplish it, man. All right? He, like, like the brothers was going into how you demoralize, how you basically infiltrate a, uh, a nation's mind through those different steps. Esau's looking at it like, yeah, we got him. We got him. We're almost here. Right? That's why I know you heard of the New World Order. That's the end game. The New World Order is the end game. Where they chip everybody, the mark of the beast. Have you heard of the mark of the beast before? Yeah, the mark of the beast, their end game is to chip everybody. Put a microchip in, in their um, right hand or in their forehead, like the scripture say in Revelation the 13th chapter, man. This is, the, this is what they want to do right here. Well, no, you're not going to have that. This, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a physical mark that you're going to have, man. That they, it's a microchip. And the brother got one. This is their end game. This, this is what they want to do. They want to microchip every every human being. That's why we're going through an economic collapse as we speak right now. They, they're trying to de de uh, they're, uh, destabilizing a lot of these different countries. Why? We're in a crisis stage. So once you hit the, cri the crisis stage, what happens after that? Normalization. Now they're going to normalize it out by bringing this. You know, they're going to say, you know, the financial system as we know, the debt, the debt is too much, we can't fix it. We're just going to have to start over. This right here, the chip, you, you'll be able to have all your information on your body. You won't be able to lose your wallet. All your information is here. If you get in a car accident, they'll be able to, to, uh, to um, when you go to the hospital, they'll be able to read the chip and say, okay, you're allergic to these medicines. Okay, you have this surgery, your medical records. So this is the end game. They have a check on hey, you. For, uh, what, say that again? Yeah, they have a check on you all the time. Yeah. Right, yeah, time. Right. Now I was going to say, and then another thing too is, uh. They can uh, give you the cover story that these immigrants uh, that's coming into the U.S. Right, right, right. or refugees around the world, or whatever you want to call them, refugees, migrants, immigrants. It's really the same. It's really the same uh, thing because the reason why the so-called Latin tribes are migra uh, migrating, and then they call it, when they get it, they call immigrants, is because they catching hell, whether it's economically. Uh, the crime, and they wait. They trying to uh, live a better life, so they come to America. And the same thing with the uh, this refugee crisis that's going on over there in, in, in Europe. You know, the whole thing is to say that uh, now they can use that as a pretense to say we need to keep a track on these people when they come to our country because they get the visas, they get approved for the visas for ever uh, many months, you know, or years. And then after they that time expires, we don't know where the hell they at. So we implement a system where we can track them and know where they at, and know when their ex expiration date is up. We can we can uh, basically they control they can control this immigration issue.
that's just one another example. Right, right, right. Yeah, right. They, they want to basically what it comes down to is control. He saw he saw the white man wants to have control over the whole planet Earth, man. Government. That's what it comes down to, man. He he really he he's infatuated with controlling people, man. Yeah. He's in fact that's why the different TV shows you have, different social media, different brain waves, frequencies that he puts out, what to control your mind, man. Yeah. This television is really to, to reprogram you and control your mind. Yeah. That's the whole basis of the, what the television is. What you what what a prime example, Sex in the City. What was Sex in the City really about? Sex in the City was really programming women to be hoes, to sleep with several different men and act like there's nothing wrong with them. That's what Sex in the City wasn't just a, a, a an innocent show. All these shows have uh, several different meanings to them, man. It's to program your subconscious. It's not just some people just watch it just to watch it, but they don't. But they understand. They don't understand that they're being programmed to believe a certain way. Now all of a sudden, what's the new thing in these television shows? Is to put gay love interests in it. Right. To right, put homosexuals right. in it. Right. Why are you doing that? To, to basically control control their minds to thinking that homosexuality is right. Yep. So when you see homo when they pass the law like they already did, right? They they they, they wasn't able to pass that law 10 years ago. Everybody would have went against it, but what they did was 10 years of programming you to seeing homosexuals everywhere, homosexuals this, homosexuals that, TV shows, movies. You know, it's okay, as long as they don't do anything wrong to me. Right, back in the day, if you talk about a homosexual, you used to call somebody a faggot, they're ready to fight you. You're like, nigga, I ain't no faggot. Nowadays, like, nah, man, you can't be saying, you have like, the hardest nigga in the hood, nah, man, you can't be talking about that, man. I got a, I got a good gay uncle, man, he cool. Why, because Esau has programmed you. Yeah. Hey, bro, this a it's a movie uh, called Addicted. It's a, it's for them black. It's for it's a, it's a movie for black women. Yeah. And it's about a black woman that basically she keeps she got she got a man. She's sleeping with another man. She's sleeping with the white man at the job. And I don't know who else. But basically, like the brother was going into that example about sex in the city. I just, it's indoctrinating women to, to uh, basically be whores and, and, and it's nothing. That's Society look at it as they make nothing. it look cool and hip. Right. Yeah. Yeah. These women are already hoes, but right. <laughs> they get that uh, <laughs> take that, that take that factor. stigma out for right. Yeah, being right, like scandal, the serious scandal. Yeah. Yeah. Now that that movie was about nowadays they they were pushing that so women can be justified in sleeping with all these different men because right. something happened to them when they was a little girl whether they got molested or something to that effect because i think that's what happened the girl had got either molested or something when she was young so that was the justification why she was sleeping with them different men but that's bullshit. that don't give you no justification to be a hoe yeah Hey, uh, you was talking about programming through TV. You remember at one point they didn't say TV shows or episodes. They used to say, I'm watching this program. Right. And then people that design different games right. and shit, That's they call them, uh, uh, this is the programmer for this game or right. this uh, technology right, right. here. Right. Yeah, you got the majority of uh, Americans stay locked in to a, to a, uh, a tool, whether it's the television, uh, whether it's your smartphone or your, your com uh, computer monitor, they stay on that shit all uh, majority, of, majority the day. of the day. You see people, you, especially women, what do you see? They on their cell phone at all times of the day. What? Getting programmed. Getting programmed to think a certain way. Why do you think Esau uh, pushes advertisements so hard, man? They spill trillions of dollars on advertising. What is that? That's, re that's programming, programming you subconsciously to buy their products. That's basically, what it, that's basically what it is. You see a, a, a commercial about a car, you weren't even thinking about a car. Now all of a sudden you're trying to save money to get this particular car. Even though when you buy the car, it depreciates 30% right when you sign the dotted paper, dotted line. So they're programming your mind to think a certain way. That's why the majority of people that come up here and scoff against the truth, we already know what they're about. Because they're saying the same shit that everybody else is saying. Why? Because the so-called church program, the uh, education, the program uh, the father's not in the house i'm talking about our people man the father's not in the house because they program the black woman to think that she doesn't need the man you have a new you have you actually have a, a, a age of black women that say i don't need a man they run them out the house they run them they either dump them get rid of them or they 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 so wicked and put so much hell on a dude that he's just like man i don't want to be there and a lot of the, a lot of the time too 
a man, these niggas is ashamed of uh, stand by these hoes uh, when they get pregnant. Cause they know the bitch was a slut. And they like, damn, they be ashamed. Like, damn, I done got this hoe pregnant. Right. Now. You know, you don't wanna, you don't wanna have that stigma on you. Right. <laughs> niggas don't wanna have that yeah, stigma. Yeah. As wicked as they are, niggas are, they don't wanna have that stigma. Oh, you got this slut pregnant. Yeah. Now you looking like a sucker. Right, cause you, cause the, the, the woman was just a piece of pussy. You know what I'm saying? That's what Jake, that's, that's basically what Jake is using for. You yeah, might have a destitute it. nigga coming out of the pen. He lay up with a fat bitch. She taking care of him. She probably got a nine to five. You know, she got EBT. So she getting food stamps, uh, however it goes. And he get and he get the woman pregnant. She's a demon anyway. He out of there. He don't want to be with her. Uh, read, read that scripture. I mean, for me, uh, Jeremiah 17. Jeremiah 17 and four. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. Right, the heritage of being an Israelite, man, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. That was our heritage. Oh, we, right. we, we were discontinued from that heritage by going into slavery. That's why our people don't know who we are, man. Through the grace of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, that's who the, the world enemy called God and Jesus Christ, all right? By Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, we through the spirit have been woken up to who we are at now as a people. And we're no more uh, so-called Negroes. We're no, we're not a byword no more. A byword is basically a word that's put on you that's not true. All right, a nigger, a spit, a black man, African American. All right, you when you ask a so-called black man who are they? I don't know. They don't. They actually don't know who they are. I'm black, but black is a color. You're a color. So now we coming back to our nationality. Why? Because we've been discontinued from it. Our heritage. You got something to say on? Like now I was gonna say the language is also part right, of right. Our language. We 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 we're speaking English. We, we, we our our ancient language is Hebrew, man. And not only not only are we discontinued from our heritage, but the so-called white man has stolen our heritage. The so-called Jew, the Amalekite, they stole our heritage, man. Now Malachites. The Malachites. Like the Malachites. They over there in the land of uh, Israel, saying that they're the Jews. So not only that we came into slavery, but you have you have a nation of people that stole our heritage. Yeah. Now they're saying they're the chosen people. They counterfeits. Straight counterfeit, GMOs. Identity theft. So so we we went into slavery. We're still in the slavery as this day, man. And we're not so much in a physical slavery like we were uh, back in, in hardcore slavery, but we're in a mental slavery, man. And man. that's the worst type of slavery. And financial, uh, a contractual debt. slavery. Yeah, there you go. Me, we, we, we sign ourselves over into slavery. Uh, we basically, yeah, we sign ourselves over into slavery when we agree to these contracts. When you get a birth certificate, that's the first step. When your mom already then signed you over into slavery with the birth certificate and the social security, then they give you the social security number. That's why every time you gotta handle some business in this kingdom, they say, what's your social? Because you're, 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 uh, you're a slave. That's your slave number, basically. You know? And then when you get on, when you, uh, in any contract you sign, so basically, to be so-called sovereign or free in this country, you have to live out in a in a little tribal life, you know, which nobody, majority of people here in America don't know nothing about. But to, to actually function in this society, you're gonna have to be a, a slave, you know. Right. But once you've already got that birth certificate, you locked into the system. Right. You didn't partook in their school system. Because mainly the what? The woman. But it's all Esau wicked ass. Right. Man, it all goes back to the so-called white man and the devil, man. Right. Setting his kingdom up. Right. Read that woman time out. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. Serve thy enemies. Hey, the scriptures is true, man. You can't disprove, you can't disprove that, man. We have been. We have been discontinued from our heritage. We went into slavery, and now, and, and, and the scriptures are saying to serve our enemies. So who are our enemies? The so-called white men in the other nations, man, because they was in a, a whole co conglomerate to put up, to bring us down, man. The so-called Arabs, the so-called Africans, like they try to say, oh, the Africans sold the Africans into slavery. That's not true. The Africans sold the Israelites. That the looks similar. White men. And the, we do look similar to the Africans in some retrospect, all right, but we have two totally different spirits, man. Hey, when you, and Esau likes to talk about DNA, 
Esau knows that we're actually closer in DNA to the white man than to the Africans. Why? Because Jacob and Esau, Jacob and Esau, man, the story about Jacob and Esau, we were, we were twin brothers, man. All right, we were twin brothers, but we were split into two different nations. The so-called white